Yo, what's going on guys? It's Lucky and today we're actually going to be doing a review of the Rorak helmet. I purchased one on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And I actually just received it like half an hour ago. Um, I opened it already, just made sure it fits because I don't want to do a video and it's like trying to get the helmet on and then it's like, oh, my head's too big, I can't get it on. I got the gift pack because it came with the GoPro mount mainly and now that I've got it, I'm not even sure I want to actually put it on the helmet. So I'm probably not going because it just, it hides a bit of the design on the chin and I just, I think I'm just going to get a chest mount. Um, or 3d print my own mount for my jacket um, but yeah so to give you a clear visor I've already put the tinted one on because it's a sunny day I'll be going out literally probably 20 minutes after I record this um, so let me just get it out this is just the clear visor and I'll show you what it looks like this is already a lot better than the other helmets because of how easy it is to take the visor off so you have the protected film over it um i'm probably just going to use the tinted for today and then switch back to the clear but i am going to carry this around with me because i've got panniers on the back of my bike so that's going to be handy so it comes in an actually nice a nice bag as well nice little bag for the visor um and then we've got the gift pack which is just this little box. It includes like air vents, blockers, um, or plugs, um, a condom, um, cool, um, and the GoPro mount, which I was really excited for. Um, they actually charged, I'm not sure which way around it was, but it was actually cheaper to get the gift pack, so you get this, um, than actually use the two sales because these sold something i think they sold the plugs separately i can't remember which way around it was but anyway we've got the gopro mount that's what we wanted and also all of the plugs as well which we won't be using uh we've got reflectors which are ugly i don't i don't want to add reflectors to just block the design uh, we've got some cool little stickers we got rorock stickers so there's black white black and then white again so we're going to put these on the bike, I think. I wish they did them in blue. I might actually just cut my own and then just make them blue. So we've got those. And um, we've got more stickers as well. Just the helmets. Pretty cool. Again, blue. It, it really I would have got the blue helmet if they had it in my size. But sadly, they only had XS, which will not fit. Let's get on to the helmet. So you can already see a bit of the design at the back there. I haven't really put it back together properly. Uh, right. Let's just get this. It's very fingerprint sensitive as well, so I'm gonna have to wipe it down. Uh, the shell is actually quite fingerprint sensitive. I actually really, really like it. Um, it's got a really nice visor as well. Um, on my other helmet, it didn't have this piece here, so it actually locks the visor. So you'd have to give it some force to actually lift it up. And it has really nice clicks. Whereas mine just flops or flops down. Uh, this one doesn't have sun visors. Uh, so, if, you know, if you're a really sunny day, wear the tinted visor. Or if that's still getting to get, wear a pair of sunglasses. The helmet's very comfortable. Um, it's got a lot of cushion. Like, you can see how much cushion they've got there. That is a lot of cushion. Um, <laughs> mine didn't even have that much cushion. It was, like, about that thin worth of cushion and it's got some really nice emergencies so you can just pull them out and then just take the helmet off in the case of emergency and also for the shockwave which is their bluetooth audio system hopefully i can get one of them soon and yeah that goes under there and then there's a little hole in the back so you can put the microphone stuff like that through and then you put you have to take the the cushion off and stuff and then just put the ear pieces and the microphone as well I haven't tested it in the winds yet, and as I said, I'm going out. 
but it looks like there's clouds coming over so that's nice typical uk weather and yeah this is basically what it looks like on it looks pretty good it fits nice um this is what it looks like the device down it just clips right into place and it doesn't actually fog because i'm talking right now it fogs up a bit and it never stops the fog goes away so it's actually pretty nice and i'm actually quite surprised that it's not actually that foggy and the tint is actually pretty nice as well i can see clearly through it to remove the visor you want to put the visor down and then you've got the little screws but they're very good to get off you just twist and then you just take them off just make sure you don't lose them they are very small just don't lose them so make sure you just put them in front of you or if you're doing next to your bike just put it somewhere where you know you'll find them and then the other side as well you just twist and then they just remove so after that the visor is not attached to the helmet so you can just simply pull it off and you just pull it off a bit and there we go there's the visor off simple as that and that's what it looks like about the visor kind of looks like a berserker helmet uh so let me just get the clear visor but one thing i want to note is on the visor itself let me just make sure i don't drop that on the visor itself it has these plastic bits you just pull them off like that and that's how you're gonna put on the clear visor or the tinted visor depending on what you put on so nice really brand new clear visor let me just put that there and then we're gonna grab the plastic pieces and then just pop them over and make sure i put them on the right one there's one And there is, there's two. So we can grab the helmet and then just place it back on. I'll bring it up to the camera view in just a second and just get it in the right position so I can show you what's next. So you'll see the whole layer. Now you wanna line that up. It will snap into place a tiny bit as you just heard. And then you grab your screws well, I wouldn't say the screws, but you know what I mean. And then just twist and it's on. So now we do the same for the other side. And there we go. The clear visor is on. I actually quite like it like that as well. Um, but today, because the sun is now gone, um, I'm just going to put the clear visor on because I don't want to get in trouble. I will be going through tunnels. Um, and yeah, I really like this helmet. Thank you, Rorak, for getting out so quickly and yeah it looks really nice you can i'll give you a full preview again with the clear visor on as you can see there's some fingerprints but i can just rub them off it's not too i'm not too fussed about that all right what's going on guys it's now 12 o'clock in the morning um we got home about quarter to 11. um so i actually put this to good use i was out for six and a half hours um the wind on this, like the, just the wind noise, is non-existent. You cannot hear the wind at all unless you put your visor up. Um, the comfort is actually really nice. It's a good fit. Um, probably a bit on a tighter side, but I can deal with it. The cushion just needs to be worn in a bit. Um, the visor, I'm actually going to go and buy the anti-fog pin lock. Uh, it's only about £15, so it's not even that expensive. It basically just goes on the inside of your visor, and it just stops it from fogging up. Um, the visor does fog up, but I'm not too fussed if it does fog up. I, I normally have my visor up anyway, even though it shouldn't. Um, but the helmet's great. It feels great, and yeah. Scared a few kids today. Um... <laughs> Because if you guys don't know, I do delivery. And having this on whilst doing delivery, you get some looks. And it was it was quite funny to scare a few people with it. Um, a lot of the uh, people actually like the look of it. And yeah, a great helmet. Um, I just need to 
make sure that the pin locks are identical because it bothers me that one's upside down right now but I'll fix that um, I'm gonna give it a wipe down because there's fingerprints on it uh, but yeah hopefully we can get the GoPro fitted to the bike because I don't want to put the GoPro on the helmet I don't want to ruin any part of the paint well the decal by the looks of it um, well I should say wrap I just don't want to ruin any part of the wrap on the helmet um, so I'm not gonna put a GoPro mount on that maybe I will I'll figure out somewhere where I can put it um, I just don't want to put it on the front because it just ruins the look of it and yeah I'll have a video of the tint advisor once I get some sun on whatever day that is it's meant to be raining the next few days typical but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have drop a like comment and subscribe and yeah let me know if you guys are thinking about getting one of these if you have a motorbike and i think the sale is actually still on for another two and a half days so if this video goes live uh on the same day i'm uh, recording this which i'm hoping it does um the sale should be on for another two days so maybe snag yourself one of these and yeah i catch you guys in the next video see ya